Hi, welcome back to At Home Crypto. And today we're gonna to be learning how to reset the CMOS battery of your um, H81 Pro BTC ASRock motherboard. After I plugged in all of my six GPUs here and it was running fine, I, of course, messed around, played with the BIOS, trying to overclock, um, not just the MSI tool that come that you can install or download. I also went into the BIOS and or the UEFI tool to uh, you know kind of clock, and I crashed the whole system. It would no longer come up. Um, it would power on, but not actually boot to an OS or even to the UEFI. So I knew I needed to reseed our CMOS. This is your CMOS battery, CMOS, uh, C M O S. Look up what it means. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it basically keeps the internal memory and how to handle all the circuits all on this um, as like a very small stagnant memory. Um, so if you ever have that problem, this is how you're going to fix it. There's two parts to it. A lot of places just say reset with the jumpers here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. These are the jumpers relative to the CMOS that are in right there. See where it says USB and by our first and between our power and our first PCIe one slot there. So, and then that's our battery. So a lot of places say just do the jumpers. You have to remove them for fifth or move them for 15 seconds. And um, personally, I've just always found that um, doesn't really clear the CMOS to back to the defaults. Um, so well, what I'm gonna show today is how to do both of these. I really just recommend if you're gonna go ahead and move the jumper, move the battery too. But it's your call. Most times you don't have to. But I personally like to, since you're already taking it and doing this. Anyway, just uh, go ahead so you have all bases covered while you're doing it. All right, so if we look here, our jumper, there's three pins there. And notice they're on the two closest to our power slot there. So we're going to pull that up. All right now it's enabled. So I have that pulled up. See, that's our jumper. I'm just going to move it over one slot, so it now covers here, there, see, so we have moved over, and now this first one closest to the power is open, okay, and you really want to do that for about 15 seconds or so, there, and of course now that I'm doing this, I am going to have to rechange some of the things in the UEFI settings, like remember about the VGA, I recommend changing that in this UEFI, so that as you start plugging in, your um, GPU cards, it's gonna want to, unless you change that setting I showed you in a previous video in the UEFI, to use the own board VGA, it's gonna wanna use one of these. And usually it's gonna be this one. Um, so keep that in mind in case you don't make that change, you plug an HDMI monitor into that. Personally, I'd just rather use the own board and keep everything nice and pretty for all the PCI slots. Okay, so now this has been there for about, probably over 15 seconds. We're gonna move the battery now, this again is our CMOS battery. Notice it's got a kind of clip right here. And just with your finger, you're going to push. There, are you able to see it? See how that moves? See how I'm doing that? Push that. There, you can kind of feel the battery itself has wanted to come up already. So, and again, notice I'm wearing my, U, my electric static bracelet plugged in here or clamped on here. So, here. And it's going to pop, and you see it's already coming up. As I do that, we're going to help it a little bit with our th Oh, he came out. Did you hear that? And then I pushed it back in accidentally. There, so let's do this. See, when I did this earlier, it went out easily. There. And we may need to get a little screwdriver. This, there it goes. So I pushed down that side. That's what I did. As I was pulling that clip... I push down on the opposite side. Notice he's coming up. And that's your CMOS battery. Ta-da! Okay. So, the battery's out. And just for, I think it's 15 seconds also that you'd want to do that. I don't, this is just a tutorial. Keep that in mind. You don't normally pop in and pop out, but we're going to now, just so you see. Okay. And every motherboard is different where this is going to be located. And as usual, a lot of things with these, you can always hear it clicked, okay? There, so don't forget now to move your jumpers back, your CMOS jumpers. You're going to 
squeeze a little bit with your fingernail. There again is our jumpers, and notice where they are. Okay. Let's move. Come on. I hope y'all find this helpful because I'm going to have to do some more work. But I thought it was good. I was looking online and didn't see any specific videos for doing this. There we go. Nice and pretty. Make sure it's in there good. Yeah, jumpers don't click. There. And that's in good. Give them each a good nudge. There you go. And that's how you would uh, replace the CMOS battery. When I plug this, have the power. Notice that first I undid all the power from the wall to the power supply. These are just here because I didn't unplug them, but they're not plugged into the power supply. And the power supply is not like plugged into the wall. You want zero power. Once it's um, you know off, you also want to do your power button a few times to release any other charges. But again, always wear your bracelet. And so there's nothing to show after this. I could show it boot up and all that, but it's not really relevant. This is the main thing is showing how to replace the CMOS. Not replace, I'm sorry, how to change that out in case your UEFI or BIOS on this gets hosed and there's your jumpers so thank you again for watching at home crypto our next video i'm going to finally get around to showing you all how to download the mining software in the ethereum wallet there's going to be links to those and that as well um you know i'd love to hear from you give me some comments give us some feedback good or bad we welcome it all because we're all learning together thank you again from at home crypto please have a great evening